You probably have seen these ship models inside a bottle. But have you ever wondered how they get these models into the bottle without breaking it? Here I show you how it's done. Inside the bottle I use synthetic clay to make the sea and the waves. The ship model should be designed to fit into the bottle opening. Select a nice old sailing ship from a poster or in my case a puzzle. Here I chose a schooner and made a drawing of the hull, the masts and the sails. This is the finished model with many wires. Each wire is attached to a mast or a sail and can be used to fix the position inside the bottle. Each wire has a number so I know which wire is connected to what item. I have lowered all masts and sails. I'll demonstrate that when you pull a wire you can straighten the mast and sails again. This is going to happen inside the bottle. So I lower the mast and sails again, ready to put everything into the bottle. It's a tight fit, but the whole thing can be pushed through the bottle opening. Now I can start to straighten the mast. Slowly I pull the wire to get everything upright again. Here I have the ship almost sitting in its final position. After gluing and cutting the wires, everything is done. I also show you a more elaborate model, a classic Dutch galleon from the 15th century. This model has more details and you need around 30 wires to control the various masts and sails. The hull of the galleon is rather tall at the rear and it cannot fit as a hole through the bottleneck. So I made two pieces of the hull detachable. These pieces can be added to the hull when it's inside the bottle. It's time to lower the masts and sails for making the ship ready to be pushed into the bottle. This bottle can stand upright, so the C is made on the bottom of the bottle. Here we go. Gently the whole thing is pushed through. Because the sea is on the bottom, I have to fix everything while the ship is hanging inside the bottle. Now I can pull the wires one by one to get everything back into shape. We are almost there. Now each wire has to be glued to the hull. I used a needle and some super glue. The wires are cut in a similar way with a hot needle. After all wires are glued and cut, the two hull pieces can be put back into place. Now the ship is ready to be pushed onto its final place in the sea. I hope you found this video interesting. Building ships in bottles is a great hobby and the end result is a nice decorative piece of art.